Hi everyone, it's Jeff with another Sibelius 7 video. Today we're talking about protecting your composition. One really simple way to protect your composition is to make sure that you have the copyright listed. Now sometimes this gets deleted. If this happens, I want to show you how to get back. It's pretty easy. We're going to go to Text, Styles, and then we'll um, go over to copyright. So there's a text style for this. It's going to put it in the center as a footer on the bottom of your page. Now we have our blinking cursor and that's all well and good but what if you forget how to actually make the copyright symbol? Well here's how you do it on Windows and here's how you do it on a Mac. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to use the alt code. There's the copyright symbol, and then I can put in the year. I also like to put my website there. And then we deselect, and we are good to go. So definitely have your copyright listed in your composition. What if you are self-publishing and you want people to be able to preview your scores, but the danger of that is that what if they were to take a screenshot of your score in your preview and then they were ending up stealing your music without paying for it? That's not good. So I'm going to show you how to make a basic watermark that you can use to put over your music. A lot of publishing companies will do this for you, but if you're self-published, um, this is something you need to learn how to do. But again, it's easy and we're going to work on it together. So again, under text for styles, we're going to hit this little button here, which is the edit text styles button. Go ahead and click that. Now we'll scroll down we're just going to use plain text as the basis for this. So go ahead and select plain text. And we're going to select new text style. It'll ask us, are we sure we want to create a text style that copies the settings from plain text? And we're going to answer yes. Okay. First thing we want to do is give this a name. Let's call it watermark. And we can choose any font we want for this. Maybe we'll pick something with a uh, sans serif look, maybe like Arial or something like that. So I think we'll use Arial. And let's also make this bold so it stands out. OK, now watermarks that go across scores are usually quite large. So let's try. 350 and I know that's huge but you'll see how it looks and remember we can always adjust this next thing we want to do you know these watermarks are usually on an angle so let's go ahead and make it a 45 degree angle and hit OK alright so the watermark has been added to my text styles here. I'm going to hit close. Now if I wanted to make my watermark I would go to styles, this drop down, and then I'm going to look for where watermark is. Here it is under general. And the reason it's under general is because that's where the plain text is. I like using plain text if I'm creating a watermark. It just makes it pretty easy. So I'll select it. Now my mouse is blue. And let's say I want a watermark on the first page here. So I'll click. Now I have a very big flashing cursor. 
then I can type whatever I want. Maybe I'll just type sample. And then deselect. And I can click and drag and move this around. This is actually quite large for my octavo size that I have here. So if that's the case, you can mess around with the size. If we want to edit our watermark, if in my case, the size is too big. So we can edit it, that's not a problem. We're gonna to go to this button again, edit text styles. And then under watermark, let's edit this. Cause it's too big, I overestimated how large this should be. So let's try 250 instead. And a lot of this is trial and error. I want to mention too, if you would rather have like a semi-transparent watermark, like a gray kind of uh, thing, I mean, you can pick whatever color you want. I'm just going to stick with black. And from the examples I've seen, most people um, will do this when they're making their watermarks. All right, so we'll t try 250 and see what happens. Scroll down, find the watermark, and try again yeah this might this might work yes I think so that's good so now I can place that over my music and then when I go to make my PDF there will be some things that are obscured so again this is useful especially if you're self-publishing and you are not going through a company that is going to uh, take care of the publishing process for you. It's very important to protect your work. So be sure to use the copyright symbol in your compositions. And also be sure if you are self-publishing and you want to have scores available for uh, people to be able to peruse but not take screenshots of, you've got to have that watermark. I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching. If you thought it was helpful, please go ahead and hit the like button. Thanks, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.